What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another LEGO YouTube video. In a previous video I discussed wanting to get the LEGO Grand Emporium set and I finally decided to make that purchase. I'm very excited to get it in the mail and get that built up, review it, and place it in the LEGO City. But before we are able to place this like super nostalgic LEGO set in my city, First, I have to kind of modify a few things with my LEGO City layout to properly display it and make it look as good as it can be. And the first thing that we have to do is actually with the Palace Cinema LEGO set. And what I did a few months back is I actually kind of flipped it around on the first floor. So these movie posters are actually on the opposite side that they should be, and the ticket counter is also on the wrong side. So what we're going to do today is deconstruct this. First, we have to, of course, look for our instruction books, which I'm very happy I recently reorganized them as it made it very easy to actually find the Grand Emporium instructions because I really prefer the actual physical ones as opposed to the digital instructions taking it on the LEGO website and it's kind of weird deconstructing a set on time lapse for a change instead of actually building it. I had to be really careful with this set because as you all know these sets from this era kind of like 2010s era early 2010s more specifically the pieces like the dark tan and the brown are very brittle so I was very careful deconstructing it and I made sure to really organize everything and it didn't take me too terribly long at all. Here is kind of all the pieces for the ground floor all disassembled and now we have to kind of rebuild it again. So this will be the third time that I've built the first floor of the Grand Emporium, which is kind of funny. Hopefully it's the last. I don't really imagine myself modifying it anymore because I do actually like the original layout of the set. I just switched around the sides of it because it worked better with how I was displaying it. But now we're displaying it in a different way and the actual way the set comes is probably going to be a better display option for it. It was a lot of fun getting the opportunity to build this again though. So some good did come out of this. I love building the modular sets and this is kind of I guess I could build up to the Grand Emporium that we'll build sometime in the near future. And here is the finished first floor as it comes. Um, one difference though is that I have the kind of custom movie posters, but everything is on the correct side now. I've got the Star Wars, the Wonder Woman, and the Lego movie poster on here instead of the ones you get in the set. And the interior is back to how it was before too. The interior space before I kind of made it back to the original was kind of ugly. Nothing really made sense. I kind of just stuffed everything in here. So I'm glad to see this restored to kind of its former glory glory if you say so. So I'm happy with how this turned out and now we've got to pose our minifigures on it again because we did kind of flip the sides a bit so I had to kind of reorganize how we have our minifigures here but everybody is back where they should be on the palace cinema display and I'm very happy with the stories that I've been able to tell with this and now you guys can get a little bit of a closer look at it too. I don't think I've really gone into detail with how I have the minifigures outside of the display but I really like having the palace cinema on the end here and we're going to end up putting the grand emporium next to assembly square but one thing that I want to kind of move around in today's video is the pet shop. I'm not really happy with its placement right here. I don't think it looks the best next to the Parisian restaurant so we're going to go ahead and reorganize this a bit. We're going to have to separate our modular plates here and now that we have kind of separated them let's go ahead and push together our modulars so that we can move the pet shop to where I want it to go and here is how this new layout looks. I really like having the Parisian restaurant next to the detective's office instead. I think that looks a whole lot better and now we're going to move the per or not the Parisian restaurant the Palace Cinema over so I can have the pet shop next to it and I like how this looks a lot but honestly moving around the pet shop kind of gave me a new idea for how I want to display all of my modular buildings and more specifically specifically the Grand Emporium. So what I really like about this display that I'm having right here with the Palace Cinema and the Grand Emporium is it kind of creates a nice centerpiece and has like two separate street layouts. And I don't like having this on the end because I feel like this should be more of a centerpiece for the modular building display in my opinion. So I think we're actually going to end up reorganizing all of the modular buildings inside of this video so that we can best integrate the Grand Emporium into the LEGO collection. So now we've taken all of the modular buildings off of the shelf and took a lot of time to do that. They're kind of everywhere now. So now begins the fun task of reorganizing. We're going to start with the corner buildings because those are what we're kind of basing this new layout around here. And here's what I've got so far kind of in the center of these shelves. We have this green base plate here kind of mimicking the Grand Emporium for now. So hopefully it'll look good with the Grand Emporium, though I'm not entirely sure. But this is kind of how I have it set up. It's much more centered now too, which I like a lot as well. And this actually is on two separate pieces of wood. So nothing is kind of warped being on the two shelves because they are slightly different heights 
shades because the wood is not the same piece. So first, this layout we have right here is the pet shop next to the police station in the palace cinema. It looks pretty cool, but I think I'm going to play around with it a little bit more because I'm not 100% sold on it. I like to put a lot of thought into where I put my modular buildings because I like to consider how the exteriors of the uh, what is it, the buildings look, and also like what the actual building is and how it would make sense next to the buildings around it. I think I'm going to go with this layout. I really like having the museum next to the palace cinema. We've got like our attractions on this side. So we've got the movie theater, the museum, lots of things to do in the city. And then right next to the museum is the police station, kind of handy in case anybody tries to rob it. So I like that. And then of course, one of my favorite layout choices is the detective's office next to the police station. And then I also really like having the pet shop next to the detective's office because the signage looks very similar. And I really like how they integrate together. They just don't look good with the Parisian restaurant attached, but just the pet shop and the detective's office, I think is a solid look. And I'm happy with this side of the city. I think it looks really nice. The layout makes sense. The exteriors complement each other. And now let's get into the second half of the Lego city, which will of course be started off with the Grand Emporium. But as of recording this, we don't have that yet. I like how I'm able to fit the car from the Palace Cinema in between them. So it kind of creates those two streets, even though if the street that it is kind of dividing it is very small, at least it's something. And I like having the assembly square next to the Grand Emporium because the roofs are very similar because the assembly square roof is inspired by the Grand Emporium. The Jazz Club and the Parisian Restaurant look great next to each other. And a new layout choice that I had earlier in the year um, is the... Uh, what is it? The Parisian restaurant and the boutique hotel going next to each other. I think that looks really cool. I love how those fit in together. They look very nice. That way the windows aren't blocked by the other modulars. And I really like this layout. I think this will be probably my favorite that I've done. It won't really come together until we have the Grand Emporium inside of the city, but I don't really see any issues with that integrating with this new layout. So definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the kind of updated Lego city layout. I'm very happy with it. And we've now expanded it as far as it can be expanded in this current setup. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Comment what you thought of the changes, but we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Bye.